Hi everyone, it's Robin. I'm just back to share a quick video with you. I spent last evening, uh, part of it, uh, while my family and I were watching reruns of the Waltons. I don't know. We just always like it. So we have the, you know, the seasons on DVD. Anyway, so I spent time just enjoying cutting out my rubber stamps that I got yesterday. And so I thought just before I put them on the easy mat, I would just go ahead and share with you uh, what I do. And uh, this isn't original to me. It actually came from the makers of Easy Mount. Uh, it's called Sunday International Craft Product is, are the makers of it. So this is what they, uh, this is their recommendation on how to mount stamps onto here. So, and I'm sure there are other ways, but uh, this is just what I do. So I thought I would just share the process with you. What you're gonna need, of course, is your unmounted rubber, a sheet of Easy Mount, and this comes eight and a half by 11, and I get this from iBreakForStamps.com, and some good craft and rubber scissors. These came from Stampin' Up, so uh, I'm not sure what they're called, but, uh, so I use these, they work, they're specifically for this, and some sort of a brush. I'm using a stipple brush, and then just some uh, regular uh, baby powder or talcum powder, and, uh, and you'll see how that comes together in just a moment. So uh, what I like to do, let me move these, is just uh, lay out my rubber onto my uh, easy mount sheet. And you'll see this was a, a big sheet, so um, you know it, it does save on space doing it this way as well. So and then just basically cut through the, the easy mount. Let me take this off. Well, I'll just leave it like this. Oh, it says Kai scissors. Yeah, so I, these might be Kai scissors. I don't know. But there's directions right on here as well. So um, anyway, that's what I like to do. And then just kind of move them off. Trying to maybe make a mental picture on pretty much how it went. And then peel off. This is the, the side with the blue, uh, blue label, the real sticky side. And then just lay them back on. This is kind of the fussy part. You want to make sure that you get them stuck down on there. Let me see. And I'd like to leave myself a little bit of space in between so that I can um, let me see. So that I can have room for the scissors to move around. didn't put it on exactly how I had it. Okay, so I have them all down on the rubber and as you can see I had to do a little bit of rearranging because I didn't set them on properly but uh, they're all on here now and just kind of give them just a last press onto the the sticky back and then um, what they recommend doing is just using baby powder and just going in between the stamps. And this removes the sticky. It's kind of like the uh, embossing buddy. You know how it uh, will remove the back uh, sticker, uh, the sticky adhesive from a sticker or something. So just kind of pounce it in between here. And this does not hurt the rubber and it's not going to remove the adhesive. Uh, under the stamp because obviously it's already stuck down there. So I'm just going to move this around. I don't know. I might be strange, but this is just something I enjoy doing. <laughs> so I just I love it that I can customize it to how I want it because I don't know. It just frustrates me to have to when I ink up an image to have to remember to flip it over to wipe off the the excess ink, you know, so I don't get that halo effect. So. I learned this from um, Dee Grunig, I think is how you say her name, I'm not sure. But uh, you can see it here on YouTube, and I'll put the link below. But it just, I really, I like the idea because um, I don't like to get my scissors all gummed up. So, and this just works out really good for me. And I'm going slower than I probably would normally just because... I'm doing it for the video. Okay, so it's pretty much done. 
bit more. When it sticks to the brush, you'll know you need a little bit more. Okay, so just kind of moving this around, making sure I'm getting all the grooves. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. I'm not going to go any further. And then um, you can wipe off your rubber with a, a baby wipe or use your uh, stamp and scrub, your cleaning. Thing. Okay, so let me just cut one out for you real quick so you can see how easily it cuts. And then uh, I do the, like the basic cut and then I'll go in and do the, the more fine details. So you can see these just cut right through. Okay, and then this one's quite detailed, so it has a lot of little grooves. And I just cut and then go at different angles to kind of get through there. And then you can um, fine tune it later. But one thing you want to make sure, and I learned this through Stampin' Up, is to just keep keep your scissors at you know um, a straight angle like this. Because if you cut in, and I've done this, if you kind of try and cut under, undercut the, the foam, your stamped image won't be as good quality. So, you just see how nicely this cuts through, and uh, there wasn't a lot of waste with my my foam. I can still use it for a couple more uh, stamps on there if I want to. It seems to be unmounted is the thing to do. I, I know I have tons of Stampin' Up! stamps that I want to remount, but I know it's just going to be one of those projects that's just oh, so tedious to microwave the rubber to pull it off the backing, and so I just kind of leave it the way it is now. But So that's uh, one stamped image. Let me cut this a little bit closer here. Okay, there. Alright, so let me get this out of the way, and I'll show you what I do next. I just try and clean it up a little bit with a baby wipe before I use my Stampin' Scrub. Just spray a little mist on here. I need to refill it. Let's see if this block fits now. Sorry. Oops, I'm going to take the, okay, and then take the backing off. And this is your cling side that will fit onto your rubber. And then clean it. I put a little too much soap on there. That's all right. And then there you go. You're ready to use it. So, uh, And this one has um, some clouds and things in it. So I, I'm not going to cut really. I, that's why I chose not to cut the rubber really close. But especially on those that just are more blocky, very simple to do. Just takes a few minutes. So I hope that's been helpful to those of you that uh, had questions about mounting. And like I said, this is just my way of doing it, uh, based on uh, the technique on the the Easy Mount uh, website. But um, you know, do what's best for you and and what works better for you. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.